So when we look at using composite materials in a product, there's usually a pyramid of testing that every industry will, will consider. At the bottom of this pyramid are the materials testing type tests. These can be tensile compression shear tests. These generate your E11, your E22, your G12 properties. We then move on to slightly more complicated tests, such as interlaminar fracture mechanics, where you'll use double cantilever beams to look at delamination growth and delamination initiation. We'll then look at the effects of impact and test compression after impact and under fatigue and static conditions. Look at joining, either bolted or bonded, and pull out tests and bearing tests and, and the like. As we move further up the pyramid, the tests get more complicated, more bespoke to the application. Element engineers can help design those tests, help run those tests, and even consult on, on how they should fail and how they should succeed. As we move to the top of the pyramid, the tests get far more complicated. They include larger component testing. These may have many actuators to apply the loads that they'll see in service. They'll have instrumentation to measure strains and stresses and deflections in different parts of it. And Element staff will write control software to control these tests and data acquisition software to take all the, the various data from these panels. Designers who want to use composite materials should think differently from the, the metals bases. They should think of designing the part related to the composites. So when you get to the basic material properties, the aerospace standards more or less apply. When you come to the local design features, everything becomes different. It almost every design feature becomes bespoke. Therefore, you need a set of testing that's sort of the next bit of the testing pyramid that is bespoke to that test. This will require new fixtures, new test methods, and that's, that's very different to typical industries. When you move further up the testing pyramid, so it's closer to what you'll be use, using in service, the final part qualification test needs to address the, the fact that it's a composite structure. So instrumented panels, where you put the instruments, where you put the loads, is, is different from uh, other material types. Terminology is also different, so we look at other properties that are specific to a composite, such as damage tolerance, such as delamination, such as durability. These mean different things in composite materials to other materials. We have other properties such as compression after impact, bolt bearing, and, and those type of failures that we don't use in other material types. Most of our, our clients in aerospace will understand composites because they have also used them a long time. What Element plans to do is take that pedigree that we have in testing aerospace composites into our, into our other sectors, such as the oil and gas, such as, such as transport. With Element's facilities around the world, with our global experts, our centres of excellence and our engaged experts, we have the skills and the capability to address all, all of those issues, to look at how do we manufacture, how do we quantify, uh, regardless of what industry sector we're talking about.